Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to open up Kurzweil and how to open up a book onto Kurzweil uh, in order to have Kurzweil read it to you. So first thing you need to do is open up Kurzweil. So you go to your start menu here and you'll want to go all programs and search for the folder that says Kurzweil, starts with a K, click on that. And then you'll want to click on where it says Kurzweil 3000. You click on that. And it's going to ask you for your username and your password. So you put in your username and password. If you don't know your username or password, ask your teacher. And they can get you all set up. Okay, so when you open up Kurzweil, this is what you see. This tip of the day pops up, and it's just a random tip, something you can do in Kurzweil. You can feel free just to click the red X when that opens up. So this is the main screen of Kurzweil, and say I want to uh, read the book uh, The Lightning Thief. Okay, I will go to open, and then along the side here, you move the scroll down to find where it says Kurzweil, K-Drive. You click on that, click on books, and inside here, you make this bigger, are all the books that are already scanned into Kurzweil. If there's not something here that you want, just ask your teacher, okay? But we're going to look for the lightning thief. So we're going to go to the T's for the. And the lightning thief. And the lightning thief is uh, broken up into two parts. So we're going to start with part one. We'll just click on it and click open. And it will open up right there. Come. Okay. Uh, the first couple pages might be uh, just the copyright pages. So in order to get uh, past those, right up here is how you change pages. And there's 100 pages in this. So we go next page. Oh, it looks like copyright. Oh, here we go. One. That's the, uh, the beginning of the book. Uh, if you just wanted to read, I would set it to Tracy Continuous Sentence. And I would start with... Uh, 160 as your speed and you can kind of adjust it from there if you want to zoom in or zoom out you can use this button to zoom in or zoom out uh, and then you just click where you want it to start reading and click the read button one i accidentally vaporized my free algebra teacher and it'll read it right to you and it'll highlight the word as it's reading it to you um, so say you've been reading for a while and you want to make a bookmark. So you've been reading, listening, listening, and you get up to this page here, and you want to stop right here and make a bookmark. What you do is you click this bookmark right here, and you can add a description. Maybe you want to put today's date as the description, and you click Add, and it makes a bookmark there. Now, you don't want to save it in Kurzweil. You want to go up to File, Save As, and you'll want to save this in your own H drive. So I'll save this as the Lightning Thief, and I just click Save there. So what that does is that saves a copy of this book into your H drive. So say the next day you come in and you want to read a little bit more, and you want to have Kurzweil read it to you, what you do is you open up Kurzweil, type in your username, type in your password, you'll get to this screen, you'll click on Open, and instead of going to the K drive, you'll want to go to your H drive, Find the file that you saved, because that file now has your bookmark in there. Click on Open. It's going to open up. And if you click on Bookmarks again, there's the bookmark from the day before with the day before's date on it. 11-26. And you click Go To. And it brings you right back to that bookmark, right where you left off. Because you may be, you know, 50, 60 pages into the book, and you don't want to have to scroll through to find out where you are. So you can use that bookmark feature in order to uh, save bookmarks from day to day. So if we keep reading, and we're reading more and more and more, and, oh, time to go. I wanna, I'm stopping right here. I just click the bookmark again, change my description, say it's the next day. I do 11.27 now, and I click Add. Okay. All I have to do now is, because it's already saved as, this file's already saved in my H drive. All I have to do is click this Save button, which says Save the Current File. I click that and close it out. Next day I come in, open up Kurzweil. I want to keep reading. I again, click the Open button, the Lightning Thief. Oh, there it is. 
click on my bookmarks. Oh, now I want to go to my second bookmark. I click on my second, my, uh, second bookmark, and I click go to, and it brings me right to that bookmark. So as long as you remember to add a new bookmark and to save it each day, it'll save your spot so that you can always pick up with it the next day.